I want to talk about what's going on with FoundUps and some really exciting news and share with you Undoubt do. Un has happened. What was Un? Un was the launching of a movement that I called Un. And Un DevCon was an event at DevCon 2. I hope that others will continue the Un movement and launch other Un events that deal with the blockchain. The idea is very simple. We want to undo the harm. We want to unimagine this messed up world and we want to create an unbelievable one on the blockchain. You see, everything we need to change our planet we have now because of the blockchain. You know, there's an infinity bomb on Ethereum, which means they have to basically fork. We need to fork our system too in our planet. In essence, what the fork means is simple. We need to replace a little bit of code that ultimately is responsible for disrupting our natural systems. We have the six math extinction going on right now, the six mass extinction event. We have deforestation and all these other problems. The simple fact is we're about to hit that infinity bomb ourselves. And if we do, it means end for everything and everyone we know. That's my belief anyway. So in 2009, I started working on the idea of a decentralized startup. Because in order to change this line of code, I need a new framework to operate on. And I call this framework the Open Innovation Framework for launching innovation and businesses. I shared this framework in 2011, around December 28th, with a young developer called Mihal Elisi who happened also to be the senpai or mentor to an even younger developer, genius, called Vitalik Butinin. I hope I have your last name right. A year and a half later, a white paper showed up with Ethereum, built on something called the blockchain. I didn't know how OIF was going to be engineered, but engineering on the blockchain was actually genius. The blockchain, or Ethereum blockchain that was engineered on, allows for the creations of something known as a DAO. A DAO is something that I shared with Mihal, and his expression was, oh my God, you have found the missing link. The missing piece is right there, the DAO. The DAO, in, in essence, creates a kind of decentralized hedge fund that um, people can participate in and the way I've engineered the reason why it's called autonomous and as I describe it to Alisi is it's self-governing everything happens on itself in a self-governing way through AI and ultimately this self-governance is what defines and controls the gas pedal right that fuels innovation on found ups and it allows us, more importantly, to replace that line of code. And what's that line of code? Well, that line of code is called CAGR. CAGR, Compounded Annual Growth Rate. CAGR is embedded in everything we do um, as globalization. CAGR is that line of code that powers innovation, that powers startups, that powers globalization, that powers politics, that powers everything. Because all funds come from... CAGR, this compounded annual growth rate that impacts and that is driven by startups. So if we replace this code with something called CABR, compounded annual benefit rate, we ultimately change a planet that is destroying itself to a planet that is basically healing itself. Imagine startups being validated and businesses being validated, their shares and their growth and valuation is built on goodness, right? Imagine that. A 
business model where found ups actually help heal the planet instead of harm the planet. A business model where we stop taking from the planet and start giving to the planet. That's what found up does in essence. And recently I just secured $10 million to build found ups. The paperwork hasn't dried yet. We still got to do all the paperwork, but I'm, I'm pretty damn positive that all of this is going to go through and um, they, they keep assuring me that we're going to keep happening. So the opportunity now is to launch found ups. And what are we going to do and how are we going to launch found ups? Well, it's really simple. What we're going to do ultimately is launch our own coin called UPS. UPS is the coin for powering innovation. Now let me talk about UPS a little bit. UPS is fuelless coin, so it doesn't take any fuel to, um, um, to switch it between other currencies. So, Right now, there's a cost if you go from Bitcoin to Ether and everything else. With UPS, there is no cost. If you're a miner and you've got Bitcoin and you want to put into UPS, boom, it's in UPS. All of these things exist to make it very easy and ultimate to make UPS a ubiquitous. Why UPS? Well, we are start UPS. We are found UPS. We are the coin that's going to power the new businesses in the world. And there's also going to be a set number. Unlike Ethereum and other coins, it's going to be more like Bitcoin, where there's only 100 billion ups. And our, and our autonomous agent, our noodle, ultimately is going to release the ups in a way that, that doesn't flood the market. We're building something known as a smart DAO, which is the most important thing. A smart DAO will allow for us to ultimately have a self-regulating, self-driving business model. One that is fair and equitable to everyone. One that will help empower individuals to make the change. There are millions of people who want to make the world a better place. But the problem is this, they're not empowered to do so because the system that is in place uh, provides no way to do that. The system in place basically benefits those which have income, have money, or what I say, access to capital networks. And imagine a world where everyone can access the same amount of capital as anyone else and launch their own ideas like anyone else. Instead of, I mean, I like the 1% that currently has advantages on that. The other thing it does is removes all of the, the harm. The I don't know if you realize, but over 99.97% of pre-seed startups, those are those that's 100,000, fail. 90% of seed startups fail. 25% <coughs> uh, of seeded startups fail. Why would you want to do a startup with such a high failure rate? Foundups don't fail. Why? They may not scale all the way up to an OPO, but they don't fail because foundups will reach a certain threshold and stay at that threshold. And I'll give you an example. I used to work at a farm and called Okera Bokujo, and Mr. Yamazaki, I said, Mr. Yamazaki, do you have Facebook? He's like, no, no, no. What? And I'm thinking, does he want more customers? Does he want to make more money? I mean, I'll make you a Facebook page. No, 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 Michael, I don't want a Facebook page. I said, well, why don't you want a Facebook page? This seems stupid to me. You don't you want to make more money? Well, Michael, you have to understand. I have just enough. I have 200 chickens, and if I had more chickens, it means I have to work longer. I have, you know, three milk cows, and if I have to milk those cows, you know, if I have more, I have to milk more. He's reached a level of sustainability that he doesn't need to grow anymore. And it was very hard for me to get grasp that. And I realize a lot of businesses out there are that way too. They just sustain themselves. And ultimately, that's what we're going to do with Foundups, is empower people to launch businesses that are, that are sustainable to their community and it helps them. It's that simple. The next stage I'm entering now, because Un is done, is the DAO. The stage I call the DAO, the Un DAO do, the DAO stage is basically getting the DAO back to its rightful master, the person who invented it. 
And why is that important? Well, basically, it's important because the Dow is extremely important because it, it, it will run everything on FoundUps. Now, what I'm doing is a Colonel Sanders approach, and um, I want to uh, force litigation onto Ethereum Foundation and f for um, getting a licensing right of the DAO because they have abused my Creative Commons. You see, in 2010, I actually put my work, the entire work of mine, on the Creative Commons. It was non-derivative and non-business. And obviously, what they've done is there's multiple derivatives of the DAO, and it is for business. So they have violated my Creative Commons license. I got a mosquito flying around me, They're trying to bite me. Oh, I hate the Japanese mosquitoes. <laughs> They're huge. Chickens, they need to fly the chickens. And um, ultimately, <clears throat> all right, he's dead. <laughs> Sorry. So. My goal is really simple. We're building this, this smart DAO. We are going to um, create API that anyone will be able to use it, plug it in, right? Kind of like how Twitter and Facebook works. It'll work on any app, DAO out there. And it'll plug into any other DAO to make it, you know, basically autonomous. Um, and what I want is what do what Dirk, Colonel Sanders did, which basically said that, hey, if you use my, my recipe, then you have to pay you know, a dollar. Well, in my case, it's 1% of the gross of what the DAO holds. So I think that's very fair. So 1% of the gross uh, amount held in the DAO as an average on the year, so it looks at the averages, has to be paid out to um, our DAO as kind of like a licensing, licensing fee. And Ultimately, what that would do then is 100% of the money would go back into FoundUps and then would use that, that, the, that licensing fee to fund more FoundUps. That money isn't going into me or anything else. So the other thing is when we launch the ICO, we call it the Initial Coin Offering, from Hong Kong, this will allow us to get a lot of publicity, you know, uh, um, you know, the lawsuit and everything else is going to drive publicity. I'm also launching my book called The Selfish Startup or Ending the Selfish Startup. And it's going to expose the truth about the startup. It's going to expose the reality of this fake, this code that's undermining everything. That finally the Zykers movement with Joseph, you know, stumbled onto. I'm sure it's probably from my videos, but you know, no one ever gives credit anymore been talking about this for for a very very long time but it's great that Z Joseph actually has made that video because it's it's just excellent Joe and you can actually watch that video on the selfishstartup.com which is my white paper the next stage is this I'm going we're doing our first VIP summit in South Africa um, the Mr. X and Mr. Y the investors in and there's actually a, there's a, a, actually another one the the king of um, of another one of the one of the chandlers of mining uh, big miner ultimately is, is behind us too um, will help us launch and develop found ups I believe the fund that we launch will exceed a hundred million understand all those funds will go into the Dow somewhat like the last time, but understand the last DAO wasn't a DAO, it was a DOE. It was a DUD, more like, because it was built on not the idea of autonomous networks, but the idea of just a smart contract. And it wasn't self-regulating. So, for example, our DAO will detect a leak and stop the leak. So as soon as there's a leak, you don't need someone's eyeball going, hey, hey, there's a leak there. You have an autonomous agent that goes, oh, there's a leak. I need to stop that and ask a question. Is this leak okay? Right, um, and imagine if everyone's funds is also tied to them. So as your fund goes out, you get that message that says, "Hey, do you want this fund to go out?" And you say no, and the fund automatically goes back in. So we can code a very, very intelligent, smart solution. It's called the Smart Down. We'll write a white paper on it. That's going to allow us to make amazing changes to the way the Dow works, and. 
and ultimately by getting the DAO back into our possession, we can use it as a vehicle to fund more found ups. Saving the planet comes down to empowering people to do found ups. If we can do that, we can save the planet. And if we can save the planet, then we can transform the planet into something truly unbelievable. My name is Mike Trout, or you can just call me Undow Do. Take care.